A major earthquake hit Japan on Friday afternoon. Japan's meteorological agency sees the quake measured magnitude 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. But as you can see, live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in northern Japan, the Sendai area, the tsunami has already engulfed some cities. Fire is breaking out due to the earthquake. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that tsunami could reach between six and ten meters. Tsunamis come in several waves. For those of you who are listening to this program, if you're along the coast, please do stay away and move to higher ground immediately. We're seeing live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in the Sendai area. Japan's Meteorological Agency revised the magnitude of the quake to 8.4 from 7.9, one of the worst earthquakes ever in Japanese history. It's a 7 on the Japanese seismic scale of 0 to 7. That is the same size earthquake as, one, as the one that hit the Great Hanshin area back in 1995. Fires breaking out, as you can see, live coverage in the Sendai area, Miyagi Prefecture, north of Japan. For those of you who have just tuned in to NHK World, a major earthquake hit Japan Friday afternoon about an hour ago, hour and ten minutes ago. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. It has revised it upwards to 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over 4 meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that the tsunami could reach between 6 and 10 meters. We're getting reports of several buildings on fire. We do not know in regards to the exact amount of damage at this time, but we are soon to get a report from Japan's meteorological agency. They're setting up to find out the extent of the damage. All transportation systems in Tokyo, as well as northern Japan, has been stopped. Airports closed in Tokyo, the Haneda, as well as Narita Airport. A great earthquake has hit Japan. Magnitude 8.4 in northern Japan. Agency has been warning a tsunami uh, ever since the quake and it uh, tsunami has hit the Miyagi Senda area as our live helicopter camera crew are up covering and showing you exactly what is going on at this time. Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Tetsuro Fukuyama told reporters on Friday that the governor of Miyagi Prefecture, where the earthquake has hit hardest, has asked the government to send self-defense force units to deal with the situation and aid the situation. Defense ministry officials say self-defense force personnel are currently contacting local governments and related agency to assess the extent of the damage. Earlier, Prime Minister Naoto Kan and his cabinet ministers have gathered at the Prime Minister's office where an emergency task force has been set up to respond to the earthquake. The task force will gather information on damage and prepare for more possible tsunamis. Japan's Foreign Minister Takeaki Matsumoto has ordered his officials to start preparing to accept foreign assistance. He has also told them to check on the safety of foreigners living here in Japan. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami warning not just for Japan, but also for Russia, Marcus Island, the Northern Marianas, Guam, Wake Island, and Taiwan. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami warning not just for Japan, where a tsunami has already struck, and you can see some of the damages so far in Miyagi Prefecture, Northern Japan, and the Sendai area, but also for Russia, Marcus Island, the Northern Marianas, Guam. Wake Island and Taiwan. For those of you who have just tuned in and living anywhere close to the coastal areas of Russia, Marcus Island, Northern Marianas, Guam, Wake Island, and Taiwan, please do not go near the waters. Move to higher ground as soon as possible.